remember when we were kids, about the only insect problem we ever had in soybeans was grasshoppers on a dry year. Now yep. we've got aphids, we've got bean leaf beetles, we've got Dectus stem borer, and a new one, gall midge larvae. Yeah, we're really concerned about this because we don't know how to control it fully just yet. Well, it's, it's this little worm, and you think, well, we can kill little worms, that's no problem. Well, the problem is they're inside the soybean stem. So there's no way you're gonna spray a foliar spray and get on them. And the seed treatment insecticides like the Neonic family, well, they've got no impact on the gall midge larvae. Think about the gall midge a lot like wheat stem sawfly. We see a lot of wheat stem sawfly as we get to, say, Montana, for example. It's the worst pest problem you can have in wheat because it's these flies that don't feed on the wheat a lot. They just come to the wheat, lay their eggs, and then when those eggs hatch, they are inside the stem. So there's no way to really get at them, again, like Darren was saying, with a foliar insecticide like with the gall midge. Same type of thing here. So we've had farmers with wheat stem sawfly and now with gall midge trying to spray multiple applications foliar when that fly does show up. Now, if you time it right, you absolutely can reduce the pressure, but it's not getting 100% control. When you think about the flies, a lot of times we're seeing this gall midge larvae in South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska. I'm not aware of it getting outside of that region at this point, but it is moving. Uh, significant distances every year. We saw gall midge 100 miles further west than we'd seen it this year and also quite a ways further east too. So it's one that, that many of the state universities are really getting on top of doing some research on and it's just been a challenge because that tiny little fly, well it flies over a, a few different week periods. So if you're getting out spraying like Brian was talking about trying to foliar spray these little flies that are about the size of mosquitoes, good luck. You're gonna have to do it many many times because many of the insecticides that we're using, they've got a little bit of residual, but not a lot of residual on the plants. Entomologists used to think, well, this bug is an opportunistic bug. It's laying on soybean stems that already have some sort of infection on them or some sort of wound, and they're just injecting their eggs into that wound. But what they've found now over the last couple of years is that's not the case. They're going into healthy soybean stems when the beans are really small. So they're only a few inches tall and they're injecting. So you'll see a tiny little pinhole in the side of the stem and inside you'll find these little worms. Now the good news is a lot of times we just see it on the field borders. If it's limited to that, great. So that's what we're hoping for. And this too, if you were gonna spray insecticide, means you don't have to spray a lot of acres. You could maybe hit your ditches or at least the fence lines and the outside few rows of your field and maybe you don't have a widespread issue. What we're hoping for also as we move forward is there will be some insecticide we'll find that's systemic in the plant that does have activity on these worms. Otherwise, maybe there will be a BT solution someday, but for today, when you see gall midge, we would just suggest you report this to entomologists in your state so more of this can be studied and we can try to figure out what's really the best course of action. And one last note, where we're seeing the worst problems is next to last year's soybean fields. So these little flies are typically uh, moving into the field out of last year's soybeans or maybe out of the ditches or grass waterways. That's where I would concentrate my spraying efforts at. We normally don't see it across the whole field, or at least not as bad across the whole field. It's generally the worst towards the edges of the field. We are certainly hoping you don't see any gall midge on your farm next year. We're also hoping you don't see our Weed of the Week, but if you do, we'll tell you how to control it later in the show.